Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the documentary series Women Who Rock, and this is from Epics, and this is directed by Jessica Hopper, and focuses on decades of women who really broke through the glass ceiling of the music industry. Now, to get this right off the bat, because this is such a wonderful debate, what's rock, and is it just you know, the general kind of idea of, like, music, or is it, like, an actual genre? Because, you know, you have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is definitely just a general overarching kind of casing of music, because if it was just rock music, it would look very different. This documentary, to make it clear, is just all women from all sorts of genres that go out there and really kill it with their music, and because, you know, you have the Wilson sisters from Heart here, you have Joan Jett, you have Pat Benatar, but you also have Shania Twain and Sheryl Crow and Macy Gray going all the way up to they start talking about Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift. So basically, this goes coast to coast from when women's first started breaking into music all the way up until today, and what I appreciate most about this film is that there's a lot of passion and appreciation from all the commentators who are musicians that you get to hear from. You get to hear uh, them talk about their influences. You get to hear them talk about each other. You get to hear some of them talk about their own experiences. And I think the real nailing point at the end of this documentary was how they taught, I think it was Pat Benatar talking about Billie Eilish. She never once had to think about, I can't do this. Billie Eilish just goes out and does it. And that was the goal, getting women to that point where it's not, I can't do this because I'm a woman, it's, I'm going to do this because I love music. And seeing that journey throughout this film is pretty impressive. Now, I do have to say, this isn't going to be a groundbreaking documentary. It is what you expect from this kind of documentary in many ways of chronologically we're going through four episodes here each person gets highlighted for a couple minutes so there's not as much depth as you'd hope with a lot of these artists you're like oh I want to hear so much about them but the thing is they have to cover like 20 artists in this hour-long episode and there's four episodes so not everybody gets a deep deep dive and having a whole lot of depth in the conversation. But they're able to capture the basics, capture their significance, and if possible, getting them a chance to actually talk about their own experiences. This is the kind of thing that I would watch things like this over and over and over again. I love music. I love documentaries like docu-series like this about movies and books and television. It's just, if it's about one of my interests, I'll gobble it up. This documentary really captures the spirit of women and that power that there is amongst this community from them talking about Sarah McLaughlin's big concert where it was just all women. Them trying to trailblaze and say, you can have a whole entire bill of just women. I just went to a concert this past week where all four acts were either completely, like a, I saw The Warning as one of the opening acts, which is three sisters, or you have Lilith Czar, Pretty Reckless, and Hailstorm, which are female-fronted acts. You can have that, all four of them. You don't need any selling points of men playing at this show. And that can happen today in 2022, and I feel like that's the point of this documentary, is to show how far we've come, and honoring those that have laid the trail. And I really enjoyed this documentary, I hope people go check this out. I know it's on Epics, so like, not a whole lot of people probably have that specifically, but if you do, show this one some love. But those are my thoughts on Women Who Rock. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.